Hi, my name is Diane Bass, and I am a federal criminal defense attorney in Orange County, California. And I want to talk to you about how to prepare for sentencing in a federal case. Now, unfortunately, sentencing is a huge part of federal practice because 98% of cases in federal court either settle or result in a conviction and ultimately a sentencing hearing. So this is a process that I start with my clients right from the start. When I meet with a client, I want to know everything about them. And at some point during our relationship, I'm going to ask you to write an autobiography. I want to know everything about your child, childhood. I want to know everything that has happened to you in your life, all of the good, all of the bad. People have told me things that they have never told anyone else in their life. I need this information for mitigation purposes. And whether you are uh, Mother Teresa, and you have done extraordinary stuff in your life for other people, I need all of that. Or whether you have been abused and had suffered all sorts of trauma, I need to know that. If you have an addiction, I need to know about it, any kind of an addiction. If you have served in the military, I want to know everything about that. There are times there are certain cases where we, we will do a psychological evaluation. I will send you to clinical and forensic psychologist to prepare a report. So if there are issues of trauma, depression, PTSD, any number of things, we can show this to the judge. The beauty of practicing in federal court is that the judge wants to know everything about you. So you're not just a piece of paper. You're not just a file. So there is a thing called a PSR, or a pre-sentence report, that is prepared by the probation department prior to sentencing. This is a huge part of your case. It's also known as the pre-sentence interview, the PSI. These initials become interchangeable with some people, but it's the pre-sentence interview and then the pre-sentence report. This is the most important part of your case in many cases. The probation department is going to do an interview. They're gonna have you fill out a 50-page packet. They're gonna ask you about your family, your education, your background, everywhere you've lived, worked, and all of your financial information. They are gonna go through this and then they're gonna ask you questions during the interview. They're gonna ask you if you feel remorse, if you accept responsibility for the offense, and then they're gonna prepare a report and they're gonna make a recommendation to the judge about what they think the sentence should be. So they are supposed to be an impartial third person who works for the court who's preparing this report. What I do with my clients is I and proactive, we fill out the probation report, but we give the probation department all of the information about you prior to this interview. So when we go into the interview, the probation officer is going to be blown away at all of the information they have. They're going to be extremely appreciative. I've even had probation officers cry during probation interviews, which is unheard of, because they were so sympathetic to my client's story. And I will have you write a remorse letter. I will have you write a letter explaining why you did what you did and how you feel about it, what you've learned from it, and what your plans are for the future so that the judge knows that this is not somebody who's going to keep coming back into my court. This is somebody who really truly is a good human being, but they made a stupid mistake, and I'm going to give them a shot. So preparing for the pre-sentence interview and ultimately the pre-sentence report is again, one of the most important things you do, and that is something that I spend a tremendous amount of time with my clients on to get ready for sentencing. And we will talk about sentencing in another video. Please look at either my website or my YouTube page to find that interview. Thank you very much.